Amen. That's good. Uh, gusto ko lamang po ipalala sa lahat. No? Pagka meron kayong physical problem, pakisabi nyo lamang po sa answers na kinakailangan na nasa uh, lugar kayo na madali kayong lumabas or madali kayong matulungan. No? Pag meron lang kayo, for example, may hika kayo, you don't need to go up sa, sa, sa balcony natin. No? Uh, nauunawaan po kayo rito, sarili natin, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, yan ang kagandahan na sa atin po ito. Uh, pamilya po natin ito. Kaya huwag po kayong mag-atubili na sabihin sa mga answers na meron kayong problema. No? Kung meron po kayong problema sa pag-iisip, eh, bahala na po kayo. Alright, let us all stand. Boy, I believe you're excited for the uh, service this morning. Okay? Alright, let's turn our Bibles please in the book of Proverbs chapter 22. There is a very familiar passage in that uh, chapter, mga kapatid. Proverbs 22. Saan nyo? Sa palagay nyo saan, mga kapatid? Verse number 6. You're right, alright? Verse number 6. Alright. Now, uh, in verse number 6, here's what the Bible says. Are you with me now? Alright. Verse number 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, si Solomon, ibinigay niyo po ang purpose kung bakit kinakalang i-train yung bata. Kinakalang bakit i-train yung bata for the future. Because when the child grew, then the Bible says, Solomon said, he will not depart from it. So it is very important. Amen? Pero dapat po natin maunawaan kung paano at ano ang ibig sabihin ng training po, mga kapatid. Now, let's go again to chapter 29. Chapter 29. Uh, another familiar passage, I will read two verses in this uh, chapter, mga kapatid. And uh, na iko-connect po natin sa Proverbs chapter 22 in verse number 6. Alright, are you now in Proverbs 29? Alright, here's what the Bible says. The rod and reproof gave what? Wisdom. Now, are, are you with me? The rod and reproof gave what? Now, do you understand what is important in the training? Wisdom. Wisdom. Pero ang wisdom ay hindi lamang po yan, basta lamang nahuhulog. May maglalagay sa wisdom. You see? Katulad ng righteousness po, righteousness po natin, mga putin, hindi nahulog yung righteousness. Nilagay po yan ng Panginoon. But do you understand, the person that, 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 uh, uh, put righteousness in our unrighteousness, he needs to go to the cross. You understand? Are you following me? Kinakailangan pumunta siya sa cross, kinakailangan uh, 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 danasin niya ang, ang, ang hirap doon sa cross para lamang magkaroon tayo ng righteousness. So as wisdom. The Bible says, the rod and reproof give what? Wisdom. That's how you get wisdom. Alright? Natatahimik na tayo na maaga. But the Bible says, here is the, the, the opposite. Ano po ang sabi ng Biblia? But a child left to himself, bring it his mother to what? That is without a child, without wisdom. Yan yung batang walang wisdom, ipinapahiya niya ang kanyang nanay. Drop down to verse number 17, please. Then, Correct thy, come on, son, and he shall give thee what? Rest. The only way for your son to give you rest is to what? Correct. Come on. Amen. Napakaganda ng Biblia, ano mga kapatid? Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. He shall give delight unto thy soul. Parents, if you want to be happy, you've got to do your, you've got to play your role as a parent. Walang magulang na ayaw maging masaya. But before delight, the Bible says, before delight, you've got to correct your son. So hindi po biglang dumarating na lamang yung saya. No? Hindi ka bigla-bigla na lamang mapapasaya ng iyong anak. You have to correct your children. Alright, you ready for this? This morning, I'm going to talk to you about family fraternity. At the end of the message this morning, 
Gusto ko na ang bawat pamilya ay magtatayo kayo ng fraternity. Ipapaliwanag ko sa iyo mamaya mga pati kung ano ang ibig sabihin po niyan. Amen? Marami na hong fraternity sa eskwelhan, sa labas, maging sa academy, sa Philippine Military Academy, meron na po at uh, you know, napakarami na sa lahalos sa lahat ng eskwelhan may mga fraternity. Pero papakita ko po sa inyo na kinakailangan magtayo tayo ng fraternity sa pamilya natin. Mm-hmm. All right, let's bow our heads for prayer, please. Dakila ng Diyos, alam niyo po ang aking puso, and this is not my message, this is your message. This is your word that we have just read, oh God. Ito po ang bataya na minsahin ito. And my desire this morning is to preach your word. And I am your preacher. Ako po ang nilagay niyo po rito, and I promise you, oh God, hindi po ako magsasalita at iiwasan ko po magsalita ayon sa pamamaraan ng tao, kundi gusto ko po, Panginoon, sa kapangyarihan ng Baral Espiritu. Please use me this morning. Open the minds and the hearts of your people here, especially, oh God, the parents that are here this morning. And so was the children this morning. Use me, please. And I promise you, I'll give you the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, thank you. You may now be seated in the presence of our God. All right. Let me first define what family uh, family means. All right. Everybody, look at this way. Para hindi na po tayo tatagal, mga kapatid. I want you to get out here at 11.30, 11.30 in the evening. All right. Okay. All right. Now, ano po ang ibig sabihin ng family? Is everybody ready? Lahat nakatingin dito, lalo na mga bata, lalo na mga young people. Everybody, pay attention, heads up, and get excited for the service. Amen. All right. Now, family is a group of people who are related to each other, obviously. All right? Yan po yan. Unahin, uh, alam nyo, napakasimple po ng meaning, mga kapatid. Pero napapansin nyo po ba? And I hope somebody here can testify na parang may membro kayo sa isang pamilya na parang hindi related sa inyo. Come on now. All right. But the very basic meaning of the word family It means a group of people who are related to each other. Maliwanag ho yan. Related to each other. Again, may mga pamilya na parang ang pakiramdam nila, hindi sila magkakapamilya. Somebody shout, Amen. Yeah. Now, fraternity, what is the word fraternity means? The word fraternity means a group of people who have the same interest who have the same interest. I, I, I elaborate ko pa po yan mamaya, mga kapatid. Okay? Now, this is amazing, brother. This is, I, I like this. No? When you put together, when you put the meaning of the family and fraternity together, look what you will get. A group of people who are related to each other who have the same interest. Did you get that? All right. Is everybody listening now? Everybody heads up, pay attention. Dito po tayo lahat nakatingin. No? Now, ulitin ko po. Pagka pinagsama niyo po yung dalawang words na yon, family and fraternity. Family, fraternity. Ito ang makukuha niyong meaning. Alright? It is a group of people who are related to each other who have the same interest. How do you like it? Isang pamilya, isang grupo ng mga tao na nagsasama-sama, related, magkakasama, may relasyon po sila sa isa't isa. Like father and mother and, and, and children, nandoon, husband and wife, may mga relasyon lahat. But in that family, in that group of people, they share the same interest. Alright, I hope you're following me. Amen? And listen, obviously, the goal of fraternity of the fraternity mga kapatid, is to establish a, uh, a uh, another family outside your family. Naunawaan niyo po ba mga kapatid? May mga fraternity po ngayon nasa labas like in the school. Alright? Sa iba't ibang grupo, sa iba't ibang institusyon na nasa labas po ng ating pamilya. Now listen, pagka umalis ang anak natin na membro ng pamilya natin at pupunta sila sa eskwelahan, nagtatayo po doon ng another group. What is that group? 
Tawa ang tawag sa kanila ay fraternity. And what is that fraternity? A group of people who have the same interests. Therefore, they are creating another family outside our family. The only thing that makes the difference is that they are not related to each other. But this fraternity, mga patid, they are trying their best to put themselves no, together para lamang po makakaroon sila ng pakiramdam na sila related sa isa't isa. Alright? Kaya sinasabi ko po sa inyo, they are creating another family outside our family. Alright? Now, may kita po natin na ito po yung nangyayari mga kapatid. They are creating another family or a, 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 a group of people na meron silang tinatawag na fraternal order. What is that fraternal order mga kapatid? Ito po'y ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pamamaraan kung paano po i-train ang tinatawag nilang mga nayopites. Mga, 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 mga baguhan at uh, gusto nilang members na gusto nilang isa mga kapatid. Sa paano po nila ginagawa ang paraan? Ginagawa po nila, pinapadel po nila. Pinapanata nila kung kahit na anong klase. Ngayon talagang hindi na ho basta pa padel eh. Minsan dos por dos na binibira sa kanila. Kaya nga po may namamatay. And then habang sila po ay... Uh, Habang sila po ay pinapadel, meron po silang binibigas. Yan po yung slogan ng fraternity. Di ba? So trying na they, 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 are, they are trying to put something in their minds na this is my family and I love this family and I'll die for this family. See? So para maging bahagi ka ng fraternity mo din. So while the recruits are are being paddled sumisigaw po sila ng sarili po nilang slogan mga kapatid so they are trying to establish a fraternal border from other groups remember this this is what we call a fraternal order and that fraternal order will order will become a fraternal border now ano po ang ibig sabihin bakit naging fraternal border mga kapatid because itong fraternal border nito it will it will determine ng kanila pong pagkakaiba sa ibang hindi, hindi membro ng fraternity. Do you understand that? Alright, so on. For example, pagka itong grupong ito, membro kami ng fraternity. Alright? May fraternal order kami. Ano fraternal order? We call it brotherhood. You see? Hindi ko naman sila ho brother sa laman. But because of the paddling and, and, and the, yung training na tinatanggap po nila mga patid, alright, yan ang nag, parang nagsimento sa amin para kami magkaroon ng fraternal order and that fraternal order, order became our fraternal border with another person right there na hindi kasama sa fraternity. Are you getting the point? So mayroong border ngayon. Ano ang ibig sabihin niyan? Hindi siya kasama rito. Kakaibang uri siya. Kakaibang tao siya. You see, kami, da, kami tatlo, pag mayroon kaming kaaway, sama-sama kami. Pag may nakaaway siya, siya lang mag-isa. So there is a fraternal border. That is fraternity, mga kapate. I hope you're following me now. Amen? So they're trying to establish a fraternal border from other groups. It is what they call brotherhood. But here's the thing, mga kapate. What is amazing to me is a lot of young people today are trying to establish a good brotherly relationship with others outside their family but never try to establish a good relationship with their own family. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Honestly, marami look, 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 look. Sabi nila, sabi nila, ah, bakit ka sumama sa fraternity? Kasi po sa amin, hindi po kami close sa isa't isa. Ngayon, you die trying to be close with other family but you never try to die trying to be close with your family. Somebody say amen. Somebody follow me. Is anybody following me this message, mga kapatid? You see? Now, so they never, and by the way, they, they, they do not complain when they are paddled by their, by, by, by their leaders but they are complaining and keep complaining when their parents paddle them. Yan, yan ang nakapagtaka po yan eh. 
Pagka pinapalo kayo ng mga leaders ng fraternity, sige lang, yeah! Sisigaw pa kayo, I am a brother! I can! I can! Pero pag pinapalo kayo ng nanay ninyo at ng tatay ninyo, nagagalit kayo. Gusto, gusto nyo nang lumaya sa bahay ninyo. Pero pag pinapalo kayo na kasama sa fraternity, ayaw pa kayong lumayas at hanggang sa mamatay lamang kayo dyan. I hope you understand that. So they do not complain. And by the way, hindi lamang po yan. Hindi sila tumatawag ng pulis. Shame on you, young man and young lady, na pagka kayo ay pinagalita ng nanay ninyo at kayo'y pinalo, tatawag kayo ng pulis, tapupunta kayo sa, sa women's desk, at sa tawag kayo ng katulong nyo para iparesto ang sarili nyo magulang na nagdidisiplina sa inyo. Come on now! You do not complain because you call it brotherhood. What about your family? Huh? What about your family? What about your family? What about your 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 uh, your, your father that, that that's that's trying to raise you up? Ha? Huh? Yung tatay ninyo na tinutulungan pa kayong mamuhay na nagtsatsaga siya magsweldo ng 600 a day para lamang kayo mapakain, para lamang kayo mabigyan ng, uh, ng maayos na buhay. See that? Now, where is now the family? Where is now the relationship? Ha? Huh? Alam niyo minsan, para, para, let me advise, young people, young people, let me give you an advice bago ikutuloy ito, bago ituloy minsan ito. Bakit hindi niyo minsan bisitahin ang tatay ninyo sa trabaho niya? Fathers, will you allow them? Somebody say amen. Yeah! Tignan niyo kung gaano kahirap. Tignan niyo kung anong ginagawa ng tatay niyo. Kahit anong, anong trabaho nila, mag-doctor man yan, mag man yan, hindi madali mag-ayos ng ngipin ha? You see that? Mag, 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 mag lawyer man, hindi madali tumayo kaya torne sa courtroom, ha? See that? Hindi yata madali magsinungaling. You understand what I'm talking about? Mahirap yun. But listen, you try to visit your parents sa trabaho nila para maunawaan nyo at ma-appreciate ninyo kung anong ginagawa ng mga magulang nyo sa inyong mga bata kayo. I hope you understand that. Now, Parents, how would you like to create a family fraternity? A family fraternity, nang ibig ko sabihin kanina mga patid, if you put them together, family and fraternity, the meaning of it, if you put them together, together, now look what you have. A group of people who are related to each other who have the same interest. How do you like it? Palagay ko magugustuhan niyo mga kapatid. Amen? Now, so, how would you like to create a family fraternity? Young people, will you join this fraternity? Will you join this fraternity? Will you do join this fraternity called family? Family frat. Alam nyo kung anong ibig, ano ang pangalan nito? Naisip ko lamang ito kagabi habang nag-outline ako eh. Ang pangalan nito is Alpha Omega P. Alpha, Omega P. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng Alpha? Beginning. Omega. Ending. So from the beginning to ending, ano yung P? Palo. So, may you don't understand. Nagagalit kayo kagad pag narinig niyo yung palo. Pero sabi ng Biblia, Rod and reproof give wisdom. You see? So how would you like to be a member of the Alpha P, uh, Alpha Omega P? Come on, young people. Huh? Now, let me, let, me, let me present to you the organizational setup. Una, meron tayo ditong Supremo, which is the Father. Alright? The, the, the Father. The, 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 the leader is the Father and also he is the husband. Alright? Subordinate. Hindi naman po assistant, pero... Sumunod na siya doon sa, 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 board, sa, sa, sa leader. Wala pong iba kundi yung mother and also the wife. 
Okay? Huwag niyo kakalimutan yung mga kapatid. Now, sino yung mga members? Sino yung members mga kapatid? Mga anak. Children. Alright? Kayong trainees. Alright? Let me say this, parents, because you are the leader, you are, you have something to do. Alright? Now, uh, pakitulungan mo ko dito, Chris. Yeah, pakit ka rito, Rod. Okay, dito ka sa kaliwa, Chris. Ikaw, dito, Rod. Yeah. Dito ka sa kaliwa ko, Chris. Alright, yeah, yeah. Uh, tagtanggal ka ng sapatos medyas alright alright now listen in this case mga patid alright meron tayo rito tatay the leader and the husband eto dito mga patid the mother and the wife illustration hindi mo tayo naniniwala mga patid sa same sex marriage I hope no unawaan niyo po eh, mga kapatid. Illustration lamang ito, mga kapatid. Okay? All right. Let, 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 let me see. Uh, ikaw na lang, ano? Iho, halika. Ito yung anak. Ito yung anak, mga kapatid. All right? Now. All right? So I hope you're following me. Now, ang mga magulang, seriously, you must follow or play your role. Okay? Kinakailangan sundin nyo ng mabuti, gawin nyo ng mabuti ang inyong papel bilang mga magulang. Alright? Father, eto yung father. Ang success, kapatid, the success of the family frat lies in your hands. Sa iyo nakasalalay ang tagumpay ng fraternity ito. It depends on how you will be faithful to the, God, to the command of God. You see, sino mga mga tatay dito, mga patid? magtatagumpay ang inyong fraternity, magtatagumpay ang inyong family fraternity depending on how faithful you obey God's command. Alright? Now, listen, in Proverbs chapter 2, sabi, chapter 22, sa binasa po natin kanina, ano po ang sabi ng Biblia? Train up a child in the way they should go. He should go. Now listen to what the Bible says. Train means discipline. Let me say this again. Everybody heads up. Train means discipline. Alright? Now the goal of this training, mga patid, is to put the family together. Alright? Nasusundan niyo po ako, mga patid. Ang goal ng training na ito ay para pagsamahin at lalo pang magkasama-sama ang pamilya. Listen now. Tandaan niyo po ito. Ang ordinaryong fraternity sa school nagki-create sila ng another group na katulad ng pamilya na mayroon silang tawagan na bro, bro, bro. It means brother or brotherhood. Alright? So kung ano ang gusto nila, you know, do you understand? Na ang kinukopya nilang pattern ay yung pamilya. Come on now. Talk to me. You know, ang pattern nila, mga kapatid, kung inyong pag-aaralan ng mabuti, kaya nga nagtataka ako, bakit kailangan mo pa ng fraternity sa labas kung meron ka ng pamilya? Alright? Now, what is the goal of this fraternity? Family fraternity? Para lalo to put together yung kanyang pamilya. Which is, this is also the goal of the fraternity outside the family. Talk to me. Yeah. So, ganyan po mga patid. Now, ano ang kailangan po rito? Training. That's why dito po mga patid, sabi ng Biblia, train up a child in the way he should go. You see? He should go. Now, notice what the Bible says here. Maliwanag ko. Train up a child the way he should go and when he is, whole, he, he is old, he will not depart from it. He will not depart from it. Hindi aalis saan? Sa iyong itinuro, sa iyong training. Now, kung ang training mo is to put them together na hindi magre sa magulang, sa nanay, at saka sa, nasa, sa tatay, pag lumaki siya, mahal niya pa rin ang kanyang magulang. Alright, I hope you're following that. Now, listen now. Tandaan niyo po yan. Now, in this training, mamaya, sabihin ko po, but makikita niyo po in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 4, notice what the Bible says. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 4, Ah, uh, here's what the Bible says. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the... Come on now, give me the word. Nurture. Now, what does the word nurture means? Tutorage. Alright? Nanong ibig po sabihin yan? 
which means education or training by implication disciplinary correction. Yan po ang implication po niyan. Yan po ang pinapapagka sinabi pong nurture, meron pong disciplinary correction po yan. Okay? That is the word nurture means. Okay? Now, let notice what the word admonition. And the nurture and admonition of the Lord. What is that? Admini admonition means is to call attention. To call attention by rebuke or warning. Alright? Here is the thing. Ito yung magulang, ito yung tatay. For example, darating ito sa punto na, na siya may in love. Alright? Na siya may in love. Alright? Sa training, tinuturuan ito ng magulang. Yung magulang, alright? Lapit ka sa asawa mo. Huwag kayong maging masyado sweet, baka mahalata ka. Huwag kang bibigay, ha? Example lang to. Now listen, ang magulang kapatid, eto yung kanilang anak, tinuturuan nila ito. Tinitrain nila ito ngayon. And then, pagkatapos nilang matrain, pag, by, by the way, walang katapusan ng training, mga patid, hanggang sa dumating na sa punto na siya naman po ay matured na at kinakailangan niya dumating sa magkakaroon na po siya ng pamilya. But listen to me now. Ang bawat siyang people na nandito sa umagang ito, matututo kayo sa pagpapamilya mula sa inyong pamilya. How you will handle your family in the future in the same way that your parents, your mom and dad handle your family. Did you get that? Ganun lamang, parehas. Wala hong pagbabago, mga patid. And so what will happen now? Nakakalungkot, mga patid, pag lumaki na ito, ay hihiwala ito sa kanyang magulang. At sasabihin niya, may pamamaraan siya. May sarili siyang pamamaraan ng kung paano mag-aasawa. Listen, tinuturo natin po yan dito, mga patid. Pero makikita niyo po mga patid, listen, malalaman ng kanyang magulang. Anong sasabihin nito? You go to the admonition. What is that? Rebuke. Alright? Pag may lumapit sa kanya na panliligaw, akalain niyo kung paano niyo pinalaki. Makinig kayong mabuti mga young people, mga babae, mga lalaki. Look kung paano kayo hinubog ng inyong mga magulang. Kung paano kayo pinalaking pure. Kung paano inayos ang iyong buhay, paano kayo mamuhay ng disente. And yet, kukuha lamang kayo ng tao na sisirain ang inyong reputation. And so this parent, sasabihin niya ngayon, not for you. Yung lalaking yan, yung babaeng yan, hindi yan nababagay sa iyo. Bakit? Siya ko nakakaalam. Binsan ang rason ng mga, mga bata, bakit? Ikaw ba tayo ang mag-aasawa? Bakit? Ikaw ba ang makikisama? It's not about that. Ang nakikita niyo lamang yung facts. Ang nakikita mo lamang yung nararamdaman mo, yun lamang ang sinusunod mo. But listen, hindi ka trainin ng magulang mo para sa babaeng yan o para sa lalaking yan. Alam ng lala, alam ng magulang mo kung para kanino ka at sinong nararapan sa iyo. You understand what I'm talking about? That is admonition, mga kapatid. So, you understand that this training is in two ways. Number one is spiritual. What is the spiritual? You go back to the book of Deuteronomy, mga kapatid, and you will find out that in the book of Deuteronomy, here's what the Bible says. Chapter 6. Look at verse number 6. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. See that? What is that? It's spiritual. Anong ginagawa mga patid? Ang ginagawa ng parents ay itinatanim ngayon sa isipan ng bata. Alright? That is another part of training. Listen now. Mga kapataan, yan ang dahilan kung bakit, listen, makinig, yan ang dahilan kung bakit dinadala kayo ng mga magulang nyo sa simbahan. They are putting something in your minds and you've got to get something. You've got to receive something, a good thing in your minds. You need that. Wala kayong ipamumuhay pagka kayo mag-isa na kung wala kayong ikinarga sa inyong isipan. 
I hope you're getting the point. Okay? Wala kayong pwedeng ipagmalaki pagka kayo na lamang mag-isa at pagka kayo na ang gumagawa kung walang laman ang inyong isipan at yung walang laman ang inyong puso. All right? That is spiritual. Now notice what the Bible says here. In the book of Proverbs 29, binasa po natin kanina, this is the physical. This is the physical. All right? 29, look at verse number 15. The rod and reproof. The rod and reproof. In the book of Proverbs 22, verse number 6, train up a child. Now, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, train up a child in the way he should go. Hindi lamang po iti-train ito physically but spiritually. Kanina, ano ilalagay natin? Lalagyan natin siya sa kanyang isipan kung saan siya pupunta. Now listen, in the way he should go. Now the way is the right way. Now what is the purpose of this training, kapatid? What is the purpose of this fraternity? Of this, uh, uh, yeah, this group? To put them together. Kapatid, I hope you will agree with me. Ilan sa mga bata ngayon ang gusto nang umalis sa bahay nila? You understand? Maraming kabataan po ngayon na tinutulungan kayo ng magulang ninyo at ng kapatid ninyo para may umayos ang buhay ninyo. Do you understand kung bakit ilan sa inyo mga young people Hindi nyo minsan maunawaan kung bakit dinadala kayo rito sa Bible school, hindi lamang dito pag Sunday morning and Sunday evening, but they are putting you in our school, in the Bible school. You know why? Because they are put, they want you to get something from the Bible, from the Word of God, at gusto nila na manatili sa inyong isipan, sa inyong puso ang salita ng Diyos. See that? Bakit? Lahat ng bagay makukurap, but the Word of God will remain. So if you have the word of God in your mind, but listen to me now. Anong ginagawa ng mga young people ngayon? Kapatid, nakakahiya. May mga young people ngayon, nagkikwit. At sinasadya nilang gumawa ng kalukuhan para sila masuspend sa Bible school. Do you understand that? Now, you, you understand what I'm, what I'm doing, young people? You're making, you're playing with the devil. Akala nyo, akala nyo madali makipaglaro sa, sa Diablo? Akala nyo mag enjoy kayo makipaglaro sa Diablo? What's up? Kaya nga merong physical. Kaya nga merong rod. Kaya nga merong rod. I said merong rod. And the Bible is very clear. That is for the proof. Why? To give you wisdom. Kaya nga kapatid, ang training, nice kung sabihin sa inyo mga magulang, ang training mga kapatid ay hindi lamang spiritual, kundi physical. Naalala ko yung tatay ko. I don't know kung sinong katulad dito ng tatay ko sa training. Hindi ko makalimutan kanyang sinasabi. Sabi niya, anak, ganito ang pagsusuntok, ganito ang pagsasaksak, ganito ang pagbabaril. Nakita ko huyan lahat sa tatay ko. Halos araw-araw nakikita ko yung baril niya. Halos araw-araw nakikita ko yung tindig niya. Nakikita ko kung paano siya mag-exercise. Nakikita ko huyan sa tatay ko. And then, sabi ng tatay ko, Anak, sa mundong ito, hindi mo maiwasan ang away. May away. At pagka may away, kilalanin mo ang iyong kaaway. At pag kilala mo na ang iyong kaaway, birahin mo na. Huwag kang magpapauna. Huwag kang maghintay na mabugbog ka at manghina ka saka ka mag-decide na lalaban ka. Very good. Kasi nga naman, kung kailang ka bugbog na, nangihina ka na, saka ka, sige, laban ako. Ay, wala, ano pala, ano pang panalo mo? Wala kang chance para manalo. Pero yung unang salvo, alam mo nang siyang kalaban mo, upakal mo na, boom. Rest in peace. You know what? I-apply nyo po ito sa spiritual, kapatid. Tinatawanan natin ito ngayon. Pero ang totoo nito, very applicable po ito sa spiritual na buhay. Most of the time, marami tayo mga young people, nagpapabugbog muna sa jablo bago sila lumaban. Saka sila magdi-decide na babalik ako sa gawain at mag enjoy ako sa church, magpapasa ako ng Bible, mananalangin ako, magsusol winning ako, pagkatapos sirain ng jablo ang inyong reputasyon, ang inyong personality. 
How can you win the battle? Ilan sa mga young people na bumabalik naman dito mga kapatid? Pero sira na. Tapos nahihiya tayo pagka medyo nasagi tayo na minsahe. Saka naman sasabihin nyo, ako na naman pinapatamaan. Kita mo na, hindi ka na makatayo. Bakit hindi ka na makatayo? Binugbog ka na ng jablo. Yung panahon pa sana, na malakas ka pa, nagsisimba ka pa, fight the devil, resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. Fight! I tell you what, maraming mga kabataan ngayon, they never learn to fight. Magaling lang kayong pumorma. Pero hindi kayo marunong lumaban. Ilan sa mga young people akala nyo ang, bi- ang bibilis yung bumbitaw ng mga ng mga words sa inyong mga magulang? Ayoko na. Lalayas na ako. Ayoko na sa bahay na ito. Ayoko na sa inyo. You do not know what you're talking about. Wala nang magmamahal sa inyo na katulad ng pagmamahal ng magulang ninyo. Wala nang mag-aaruga sa inyo na katulad ng pag-aaruga ng tatay at nanay ninyo. Wala nang magbibigay sa inyo na kahit naghihirap ang mga magulang ninyo, magbibigay pa rin sa inyo sapagkat kayo ay related sa isa't isa. Don't you forget that. This training of spiritual, two ways of, two ways training, a two-way training, kapatid, is very important. These are both important in putting the family together. Okay? Mga tatay, you ought not only be the one to be the example, but the wife too. Now listen to me now. Atras ka muna. Alright? Doon ka sa kabila. Ito ka kapatid. Here's the thing. He's watching. He is the children. What is the command to the children? Obey. And brethren, we understand that it is not easy to obey. Somebody shout amen. amen. Yeah. So, sino ito mga patid? Father. The what? The leader. And the husband. Ano po ang kanyang role sa family? To love. Sino ang lover sa loob ng pamilya? Should be. Now listen to me now. He is not to love, but he is the love. You understand what I'm saying? God did not earn love. He, God, is love. If God is in him, kapatid, and God said, love your wife. Why? Because he is the love. You understand that? And this, the wife, is the submission. Listen, to love is not a demand of the wife, nor a demand of a child, but he is love. Are you with me? All right. To submit brethren to husband is not a demand of the husband. She is the submission. When submission is needed, all right, go. That's it. Without a demand, wala na kong sasabihin ito, ay, magpasakop ka sa akin. Bakit hindi ka napapas... Hindi, hindi na ko dapat marinig yan sa loob ng tahanan. Eh. Bakit? Kapag kakailangan ng submission, ito yung submission. Pag sinabing, all right, doon ka. Pag sinabing, all right, submission, nasaan ka? Submission will say, present, I'm here. Pag sinabing love, nasaan ka? Love is here. You need me? I'm coming. Walang reklamo. Pag kailangan yung submission, submission on me. You need me? I'm coming. Now listen, the child is watching. He is to be. Magiging madali sa kanya, mga kapatid, ang magpasakop sa authority sapagkat nandito ang submission. Magiging madali sa kanya ang mahalin ang kanyang mga magulang sapagkat meron sa magulang na love. Inside the family, there is love and submission that the child is needed. I hope you understand that. Kapatid, listen to me now. Wag na wag kang re-reklamo sa magulang mo 
Sananay mo at saka sa tatay mo. Bakit? Sila yung ibinigay ng Panginoon sa pagpapalaki mo. Kailangan mo ng love. Kailangan mo ng submission. And you are the obedience. I hope, I hope this is clear. Mga kapatid, young people, wala kang karapatang magreklamo sapagat ikaw si obedience. Wala kang karapatang mag-complain sapagat ikaw si obedience. Bakit? Mada, magiging madali ang iyong pagsunod sapagat meron ka nang nakikita ng submission. Kapag kakailangan at nagkakaroon ng problema ito mga kapatid, now listen to me now, follow, follow, follow me carefully. Pagkailangan ng anak si submission para maging madali ang kanyang obedience, tutulungan siya ni submission. Somebody say amen. Back to yourself. Alright? Pagkakailangan itong mahalin ng kanyang magulang, kapatid, kinakahihirapan siya, kinakailangan pumunta siya rito, at ito ngayon ang tutulong sa kanya para mahalin niya. Obedience will become easy because of the parents. And listen, where are they now? They are a group of people with the same interest. That is what we call family fraternity. All right, here's the thing. All right, back, back to your position. All right, now, so Maliwana, I hope you're following me. By the way, both parents should live by example. Ulitin ko po. Bawat isa ka sa kanila ay mamumuhay by example. Okay? Dad, you cannot train your children to be something that you yourself have failed. You cannot train. Hindi mo kayang itrain ito na mismong ikaw, gusto mong gawin niya, pero ikaw hindi mo magawa. Come on now. Somebody talk to me. Same thing with the wife. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa anak mo na gawin mo ito anak na mismong ikaw hindi mo magawa. Anak, makinig ka sa tatay mo. Ma'am, ikaw nga hindi ka nakikinig eh. Talk to me. Come on. Help me out. Somebody help me preach here. Hindi ma hindi magiging madali sa anak. Kung yung hindi ho nakikita sa tatay mo kapatid. Everything must begin and should continue with dad and mom in a right relationship with each other. Bakit? We're putting up the family together. You see? Kasi yung nagkakawatak-watak na yun ang problema po natin mga kapatid. Now, these are the things kapatid that cannot be a substitute for love. Things cannot be substitute for love. Nothing in this world that can be a substitute for love. I hope you, you, you understand what I'm talking about. But listen to me now. No discipline, no discipline for children can ever be successful unless love and submission surrounds it morning, noon, and night. Makita ka huda kasi do you understand tata at nanay ano unawaan niyo ba kung bakit kayo nilagay sa pamilya Hindi po pwedeng magkaroon ng isang pamilya na hindi po nagkaroon ng tatay at saka nanay Legally or illegally ang tawag lamang po diyan legal na pamilya at illegal na pamilya Pero pamilya po yan May tatay, may nanay, may anak Kaya kayo nilagay dyan bilang love, bilang submission, at bilang obedience para ho maging maayos ang, 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 ang isang pamilya at makita po natin lahat dyan ay para sa Panginoon. Napansin niyo po ba yung mga batid? Obey your children in the Lord. Sa so fathers, in the admonition of the Lord. Submit yourself in the Lord. Puro in the Lord, puro in the Lord. Kaya nga po ang isang pamilya is in the Lord, of the Lord, and for the Lord. I hope you understand what I'm talking about here. Amen. Now listen to me now. Don't you ever try to complain. Because what you need is love and what you need is submission. Huwag kang magkukomplain sa kanya. Bakit? Kailangan mo sila. You must understand what you are. 
Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. And the only way to get out from that foolishness, kapatid, is to get wisdom. Paano makukuha yung wisdom? Rod and what? Rod and what? Come on now. Shout it. Reproof. 22 in the book, in chapter 22 of the book of Proverbs, I don't sabi po this verse number 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the what? Rod. Wisdom. Bakit? Saan nakukuha yung wisdom? Sa rod. The rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Or else, when you spare the rod, when you spare the rod, kung hindi mo siya papaluin, yung hindi mo pagpalu sa kanya, yan ang magpapalayo sa kanya sa iyo. Ang sabi ng Biblia, alright, the rod of correction, tatanggalin yung kanyang foolishness. Pero yung foolishness, pag hindi natanggal sa kanya, yan ang magpapalayo sa kanya, sa kanyang mga magulang. Am, am I clear, brethren? There's nothing deep about this message, kapatid. Alright? So ano, ano po ang kailangan niya? This one. This one. Bakit? Now listen to me now. Don't complain. Anong ginagawa po sa fraternity? Pinapalo ng pinapalo. Pinapalo. Bakit o? Habang pinapalo, I love my brat! I love my... Kung ano-ano sila sasabi sa nila, para ano? Para lamang magkaroon sila ng pagkakaisa sa loob ng kanilang fraternity. Mga kabataan, bakit hindi nyo tiisin ang palo at rebuke ng inyong mga magulang para hindi kayo mapalayo sa inyong mga magulang at para magkaroon kayo ng pagkakaisa sa loob ng inyong pamilya? Somebody shout amen this morning. Yeah! So you know what problem? Listen, the Bible is very clear. There is nothing in a child that can help him build his relationship with his parents. There is nothing in you that can help build your relationship with your mom and dad. Maliban ho dito. Why? Because this will give him what? Wisdom. Para sa inyong wisdom, para hindi mapalayo sa kanyang mga magulang. Am I clear now? Now my question is this. Are you willing to continue what you have started before? Alam niyo mga patahin, sino sa mga magulang ngayong, 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 um, ngayong umaga na mga kapagtaas ng kamay, Pastor, matagal ko na hong ginagawa ang pamamalo. Raise your hands please. All right. Now listen to me now. Uh, nawawala, binababa niyo na kaagad eh. Now, would you please stand? Would you please stand? Pakitayo po kayo. Namamalo kayo ha? Namamalo ha? Yung totoo lang ha? Hindi yung palo na, ikaw ha? Mm, mm. Tapos pagkatapos mamalo, oh anak, sorry na, sorry na, batiin na tayo ha? Buisit ka, magulang ka. But you listen to me now, listen to me now. Mga kabataan na nandito, mga bata, naunawaan niyo ba ito? Listen now. Nauunawaan niyo ba na matagal na kayong may fraternity sa bahay? Matagal na kayong nagpapaluan eh. Maliit ka pa lamang, miyembro ka na ng fraternity. Naiisip niyo ba na sa edad niyong ganyan, ganyan nandi dito kayo sa loob ng simbahan kasi si nanay at saka si tatay niyo nagtayo ng family fraternity and now you are, you stay together because of the wisdom that the rod of correction has put you away from your foolishness. I hope the message is clear. Parents, yung hindi pa rito, mga kapatid, sasabihin ko lamang po sa inyo, kung hindi kayo naniniwala sa palo, huwag kayong magturo dito ng hindi pagpapalo. Sapagat ang Biblia nagtuturo po sa pagpapalo. Para sa mga nakatayo ngayon, congratulations. Ituloy natin ang frat natin. Alpha Omega P. 
Ano ang ibig sabihin? Mula sa bata hanggang tumanda, kung kinakailang paluin, palo pa rin. Walang tigil na palo. Alpha, Omega, P. Yeah. Amen! Brethren, I must close the service. Wala akong sinturon, baka mahulog eh. Listen now. Young people, again, you can never exist and you, hindi ka mo mga kapamuhay ng maayos na pamumuhay sa ibabaw ng lupang ito by yourself. The Bible is very clear. Let me read this again. Okay? Let me read this again. Oh, you don't need to turn to it. Here's the, the, the thing. The rod and reproof. What? Give wisdom. But a child that is left to what? Himself. Bring it his mother to shame. That will exactly happen kapag ka ang batang ito ay hindi niya nirespeto ang dalawa. But you listen to me now, parents, huwag niyong paintulutan na hindi niyo mapalo pagka kinakailang paluin ang inyong mga anak to drive the foolishness. Why? Because it will give them wisdom at pag may wisdom na sila, marirecognize nila, thank you, tatay. Thank you for your love. Thank you, nanay. Thank you, mom for your submission, for your great example. You're the best mom in the world. You understand what I'm talking about? And this, this principle, mga kapatid, family fraternity, that will help you to stay together. Kahit na po mapawalay pa ang sino pang anak ninyo, kahit saan pa sila pumunta, because the Bible is very, very clear. Train up a child in the way he should go. Because when he gets old, he will not depart from where you were. I hope the message is clear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's all stand, please. Father, thank you for your words. Thank you for the message. Now I beg you to please speak to the hearts of the parents right here. And so us with the children. Let them come with their mom and dad, oh God. Ayan nyo po, pentulutan nyo na sila'y lumapit, na sila po ay sama-sama sa pakikipag-usap sa inyo, Panginoon. Pagpalain niyo po ang bawat pamilya sa umagang ito. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. God is speaking to your heart through the message this morning. Step out of your seats and come forward. Dito po tayo sa altar, punuin po natin ang altar. Huwag po tayong tamarin na manatili po tayo sa upuan. Marami hong bakanti po rito. On my left, you come, you come on my left. Sige po, dito. All right. It's time to be thankful para pakitaan natin ng masaya, at mapagpasalamat na buhay, mga kapatid, ang ating mga magulang. Let's all be thankful. Let's all be thankful. Yeah. Yeah. Kailan Diyos, maray pong salamat sa mga anak niyo po na tiklop tuhod na lumapit po sa inyong harapan. Pagpalain niyo po, Panginoon, may saking ito narinig po namin. Pagpalain niyo po ito sa puso ng inyong mga anak. Pangunahan niyo po ang bawat isa. Salamat sa katapatan niyo, sa kabutihan niyo po sa amin. Ang bawat pamilya, Panginoon, ipatuloy niyo pong buklorin. Huwag niyong pahintulutan 
na sirain ng jablo ang bawat pamilya na narito, Panginoon. Sa halip, Panginoon, ay buuin niyo po. Our children today need wisdom from you. And help them to understand that the only way to get it is through the rod of correction, which means training. Help them, O oh God, to be trained by their own parents. Help them to learn something from their parents. Thank you, O oh God, for making this church a part of their lives, O oh God. Patuloy kayong manguna, patuloy niyo pong ipahayag sa kanila ang kahalagahan ng simbahang ito. Kinakailangan po nila mag-survive sa atake ng wicked world na ito, Panginoon. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the parents here. Bless the hearts of your parents this morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Back to your seats, please. And para po sa mga bisita po namin na hindi pa ho ligtas, ano po, uh, please remain standing and uh, lalapit po, lalapitan, para malapitan po kayo ng mga members ng church nito at uh, maipakita po sa inyo ang simpleng paraan ng kaligtasan. Sige po, sa mga bisita po, pakilapitan niyo po yung mga bisita po natin sa hapong ito, ay sa umagang ito mga kapatid. Okay? Sige po. Pakilapitan niyo po. We have 36. Yeah, 36 first time visitors this morning. Pakilapitan niyo po. All right, keep going, keep going. Sige po. Tumayo po tayo lahat, mga kapatid. And uh, I hope you learned something from the message. Amen. 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 All right, Don't miss it this afternoon, mga kapatid. Ngayong hapon, magtuturo po ako, magpipreach po ako about Christian education. Christian education. Why Christian education is important. Kaya huwag niyo pong kakaligtaan po yan. Let's have a great time this afternoon. At mamaya, saksiyan niyo po yung mga bata rito, uh, yung pong uh, uh, muling recognition ng atin pong academy. Amen! Wow! Uh, excited po ako kasi matagal na nawala po ito, mga kapatid. No? Matagal yung mga estudyante natin, hindi sila nakapag-uniforme kasi, you know, uh, advice po ng, uh, ng Department of Education. Pero ngayon naman po ay binigyan niya po na tayo ng... Uh, Recognition, they recognize po nila tayo, so we can do it. Amen? Uh, salamat sa Panginoon. Isa pa hong ipapanalangin natin mga kapatid, kung hindi pa ho tayo bibigyan ng Panginoon ng lote o malaking lote sa labas o ano paman, o, papakiusap po natin at uh, panalangin nyo si Atorni na makausap niya ang administrasyon ng Apubay na payagan po tayong mag maglagay ng balcony po rito. Pag maglagay po tayo ng balcony dyan, makakapaglagay po tayo ng another 500 people sa balcony. You see? And then sa baba po niyan, magdadagdag po tayo ng restroom. So, hindi na po magiging problema ang restroom po natin. You see? And then uh, sa taas, meron na po tayo mga restroom doon. Kaya lang yung iba ayaw pumunta sa taas. Nahihirapan. Nauunawaan ko naman po yun. You see? At yung iba, ay nag, uh, mas gugustuhin nilang magpampers na lang, magdiapers na lamang kaysa pumunta sa taas. Uh, so, naunawaan ko po kayo, mga kapatid. But you pray for that. Ano man kanuuban ng Panginoon, mga kapatid, ako'y naniniwala, if God can give us 5,000 sitting capacity auditorium, God can God can fill it up. Hindi po tayo. Ang Diyos ang magpupuno po niyan. Amen? Amen. Did you enjoy the service this morning? Alright, let's bow our heads for prayer now. Dakilan Diyos, salamat po sa inyong salita. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa pagpapala niyo, pangunawa, pinagkalob niyo po sa amin. Salamat, Panginoon, dila niyo po kami sa umagang ito. 
Pagpalain niyo po ang patuloy na pagsasama-sama ng bawat pamilya na patuloy niyo pong pagtibayin, Panginoon. Patuloy kayong manguna po, Panginoon, sa bawat anak niyo sa aming paghiwahiwalay. Ingatan niyo po ang mga sakya na makasalubot, makasabay po namin. Ganun din po, O Diyos, pagpalain niyo po yung mga kinakausap po ngayon. Iligtas niyo po ang hindi paligtas at bigyan niyo po ng pusong masunurin ang ligtas na upang sila po ay sumunod sa tubig ng bautismo. Salamat po at ibalik niyo po kami rito mamaya uh, at 4.30 upang patuloy ka po namin purihin, sambahin sa Espiritu at katotohanan. Maraming salamat sa ginagawa niyo po sa buhay po namin at dalangin ko po na pagkalooban niyo po na masaganang tanghalian ang bawat anak niyo po, Panginoon. Pinupuri ka po namin sa pangalan po ni Jesus. Amen.